MYB Advanced has a very powerful and flexible inventory management solution, giving users the power to decide what level of features their business requires. You can make use of the multi-warehouse or multi-location features, serial lot or batch tracking, an iOS and Android friendly mobile app for warehouse management, and manage simple or detailed inventory replenishment features. Let's take a look. So let's start by taking a look at the multi-warehouse and multi-location features within MYB Advanced. MYB Advanced can have as many warehouses as you wish. Each of these warehouses is linked to either a branch or company depending on your structure. MYB Advanced does allow for multi-company and multi-branch structures as well. If we take a look at the Melbourne warehouse, I can see that's broken up into a number of locations. I have a receiving location. Now this may be where I receive the stock into the warehouse uh, as it arrives, maybe in a shipping container or at a loading bay. And then subsequently I do a put away process or location transfer into the various locations where the stock may actually be sitting. Each of the locations within a warehouse, you can define a number of parameters, such as whether or not it's included in the quantity available, or whether or not sales are allowed directly from that area as well. As we can see here, my RMA location or my returns location um, is not included in my quantity available, because I may wish to do some kind of testing um, or configuration on return products before I put it back into inventory for sale. If we move on to serial and lot tracking and take a look at an example, I can see I've got some cream here in my star food and beverage company. And I do have lot, um, uh, lot numbers being uh, tracked, including expiry dates. You do have the option of defining when these are used, when they are assigned, and whether or not you're tracking lot numbers or serial numbers. In the food and beverage industry, it's quite common to be tracking lot or batch numbers. In electronics, that might be where you start looking at serial numbers to track individual components. MYB Advanced does allow you to track where a serial or lot number has been used. So if I look at this lot number, I can see which transaction it was received in on and which supplier it came from and what expiry date it may have as well. I can see it's also been issued or used uh, in a process. Now this particular item is a raw material, so it's unlikely I've sold it directly to a customer. However, if I had, that would be listed here also. I do have the option of drilling through to find out which transactions this has been linked to. As you start to run low on inventory, the inventory replenishment features within MYB Advanced come into their own. So this is a fairly, fairly simple example of inventory replenishment where I'm doing a purchase to stock scenario, i.e. when I get below 1,000 items, which at the moment I'm below, I'm at 615, I want to make sure I end up with 5,000 at the end of this process. So the math is fairly simple. It's 5,000 less our quantity on hand. I already have 100 on purchase order, so I don't need to order 100 for those. I've got 391 of my 615 already on some form of hard demand for a sales order. So that may be commitments that we have made, but we haven't yet shipped. And I can see I've got 16 that are currently not available. Now that be um, that could be once again, because of that RMA scenario or returns scenario, they might be going through some kind of quality control check. And I can see I have 4,692 of these items that I need to purchase. So let's go ahead and hit process. So that's going to create a planned purchase order amount. Now, before I actually create the purchase order, I thought I would also show you the purchase to sales order scenario. Here I have a sales order for ABC Studios for that same item. They're ordering 25 and I have marked the mark for purchase order um, tick box on that line. When I look at my create purchase orders tab, 
I will see that that item needs to be purchased. I can see 25 of those items need to be purchased due to a sales order demand. And I can see I have 4,692 items that need to be purchased due to the inventory replenishment. I can simply come in, tick the appropriate boxes, and this will then purchase based on a number of key items, such as the preferred supplier that I have marked on this inventory item. Now that this purchase order has been created, you can see at the line type that that has two lines. One is showing that the inventory is being purchased due to a sales order demand, and one is showing that it's been purchased due to an inventory replenishment process. If I click on view sales order demand on that top line, I have an option of seeing the exact sales order that this relates to and drilling further if needed. And thank you for watching.